In this video, I'm going to be taking you step by step on how you can easily build a completely automated stock watch list straight in Google Sheets. And you can already see what our finished product here is going to look like. You can see the metrics we're going to track here. And what's really cool about this, like I said, it's completely automated. So for example, maybe we don't want to look at stock ticker ABGO Broadcom. Maybe we want to track a different stock like Texas Instruments. I would just type in the ticker and hit enter and you can see all of this data is going to automatically load in. We even have things like the dividend payout, the dividend yield, and the company's sector. So again, I'm going to take you step by step on how to build this. But like always, if you'd like to get access to any of my spreadsheets and be able to use the ticker data function in Google Sheets, then you can head over to tickerdata.com at the link in the description. But let's go ahead and start building out this stock watch list. Now to get started, what you want to do is you want to go up here and give your spreadsheet a title. I just typed out stock watch list in Google Sheets. Now, the next thing I want to do is give my spreadsheet a header. So I'm just going to highlight cells A through I1 right here, and I'm going to go ahead and merge these cells, and we'll blow this up just a little bit. And I'm going to type out stock watch list right here and hit enter. Now we can go ahead and give this some outline by adding borders just so we can kind of make it look a little bit cleaner. We'll do some more formatting to it later. But now what I want to do is I want to list out all the different metrics that I personally want to see. And at the end of the video, I'll show you how you can also add some other metrics. But we're just going to stick with things like ticker for now, name. We obviously want to see the current price of the company. I personally want to know the day's change as a percentage, but I also want to know what the day's change as a dollar amount is. So I'm going to put dollar here. And I want to know what the company's 52 week high is. And I want to know their 52 week low. And then the other metrics that I want to see is I want to know what the company's dividend payout is. I want to know what the company's starting dividend yield is. And then lastly, I want to know what the company's sector is. And it looks like we actually need to come up here and merge one more cell. So this is all fitted. Okay, so now we have all the metrics that we want to see. Let's go ahead and just do some quick formatting. If we highlight all these cells, we can come up here and add some borders. And if we click this button here, it will highlight all the cells. Let's go ahead and just click here and straighten out the text. Looks like we need to expand a few of these so it doesn't look so cluttered. And okay, so we kind of have a start now. We can see our outline for our stock watch list. Let's go ahead and put our first example stock right here. Again, when this is finished, all we will have to do is plug in the ticker right here. So I'm just going to plug in KO and hit enter. Now based off the data here, we want to set these other formulas up here to automatically update based on this ticker. So if you've never used Google Sheets before, there's a pretty cool function called the Google Finance function. It's not my favorite and I'll tell you why later, but it does have some cool features. If we click on Google Finance right here, come over here and click on stock ticker KO, add a comma and type out name in quotations and hit enter, you can see the company's name is going to automatically load in. So for example, if we change it to Pepsi, that would automatically load in. Change it back to Coca-Cola, it automatically loads in. So it's a pretty neat little function. Now there is some problems with it, like I mentioned earlier. There's a lot of metrics you can't track and you can't track international stocks. But I'm gonna show you a way you can do that a little bit later in the video. Let's go ahead and keep moving forward for now. The next thing that I wanna see is the price. We'll use Google Finance, click on KO, and you can actually just hit enter on this and we have the current trading price for Coca-Cola. Next thing that I wanna see is the day's change as a percentage again. I'll use that Google Finance function. We'll come over here and click on Coca-Cola. And I'm going to type out change PCT, which stands for percentage. But once I close this parentheses to make it a percentage, we need to divide by 100 and hit enter. And then highlight that cell and come up here and click on the percentage. So now you can see on the day Coca-Cola is down negative 0.36%. Now the next thing that I want to see is a day's change as a dollar amount. So again, we'll do equals Google Finance. Come over here and click on Coca-Cola. And all I need to do is type out change and in quotations and hit enter. And now we have the day's change as a dollar amount. So Coca-Cola down 22 cents on the day, which is a 0.36% change. The next things that I want to see are the 52 week high and the 52 week low. Again, Google finance function, we can automatically pull this in. Come over here and click on Coca-Cola, add a comma and in quotations, just type out high 52 and hit enter. And 52 week low is going to be pretty much the same. We'll use that Google finance function. Come over here and click on Coca-Cola and type out low 52, close the quotations and hit enter. So we already have a lot of really good information on Coca-Cola and let's go ahead and test out our formulas. Make sure it's working properly. I'll change it to Pepsi and hit enter. And you can see all this data will automatically update. So this is already starting to look pretty good. 
But now we need some other metrics. I personally like to know companies' dividend metrics. I want to know the dividend payout, the dividend yield, and then at the end of this, I want to know what the sector is. Now here's the problem with Google Finance. If I were to try to pull this in with Google Finance, it's not going to work. I'll click on Coca-Cola, and if I type in quotations dividend, I'm going to get an error as you can see. Google Finance is very limited in the functions that you can pull into your spreadsheet, which is pretty unfortunate. And like I mentioned earlier, Google Finance only pulls in data for US based stocks. So if you're an international investor, you can't pull those stocks into your spreadsheet, which is quite frustrating. But thankfully there is a solution to this and the solution is ticker data. If we go up here to extensions in my spreadsheet, you can see ticker data is listed right here. And if I log in, I'm going to be able to pull in a company's dividend metrics. So for example, if I do equals type out ticker data and click on ticker data live, come over here and click on Coca-Cola add a comma and in quotations, just type out dividend and hit enter, you can see Coca-Cola's dividend payout is going to automatically load in. That is only made possible with the ticker data extension in Google Sheets. And what's really cool about ticker data is if we go over to the ticker data website and click on docs, you can see there are hundreds of different attributes that you can pull into your spreadsheet, whether it's from the income statement, statement of cash flows, balance sheet, or hundreds of other key metrics as well that we can pull straight into our spreadsheet. And the really cool thing is with ticker data, you can also pull in data from stocks from all over the world. If we click on our exchanges page here on ticker data, you can see all the different stock exchanges and countries that we can automatically pull in stock data from. So it's a pretty cool feature. So you can go to tickerdata.com at the link in the description. If you're interested in using this, let's go ahead and keep building out our spreadsheet. Now for dividend yield, you can use ticker data function to pull this in, but another way you could pull this in is just to take the dividend payout and simply divide by the current share price and hit enter. We'll click this here and turn this into a percentage and we can see we have a starting dividend yield sitting at 3.27%. Now lastly, what I wanna see is going to be our sector. Again, we can use the ticker data function for this. I'll use ticker data live, click on Coca-Cola and in quotations, just type out sector and I'll hit enter. And again, you can see this data is going to automatically load in. So we can see Coca-Cola sector is consumer defensive. So let's go ahead and test out this function again. We'll change it to Pepsi and hit enter. And again, we can see all this data is going to automatically load in. Let's go ahead and change it back to Coca-Cola and hit enter, make sure it's working. And it looks like all this data again has automatically loaded in. So we've already completely automated this entire process for Coca-Cola, but we don't wanna to have to go through that entire process for every single stock that we plug into our spreadsheet. Well, there's a cool little workaround in Google Sheets for this. Again, I'll go ahead and copy and paste over some random stock tickers so we can see how this works. I'll hit enter right here, but because we can highlight all of these cells here, grab this here and just simply drag it down and you can see all this data again is going to automatically load straight into our spreadsheet. And so just like that, we already have a very simple stock watch list straight in our spreadsheet with live stock data. That's pretty phenomenal. Now the product obviously isn't finished yet. We need to clean it up and make it look quite a bit nicer. So let's go ahead and go through that process. I'll go ahead and extend this column here so this fits. We can do the same for sector a little bit and we'll go ahead and come up here and just make sure everything is straightened out. We can do this as well. Now let's go ahead and start fixing this header here, stock watch list. I'll blow this up and let's go ahead and color this in, maybe make it just a little bit darker. And then what we can do is if we highlight all this information here, here's a cool little formatting trick. Once we have it highlighted, if we go to format, go all the way down to alternating colors, you can select a lot of different styles to color in this data here, and it makes everything quite a bit easier to read as well. I typically like to do yellow. I think that is what looks best in my opinion, but obviously pick whatever you want. So when I click done right here, we can see our stock watch list is already starting to come together. Let's go ahead and give this whole thing some borders. And okay, so we're not quite there yet. Let's go ahead and bold the text for all of these. And what I wanna do now is stretch this out just a little bit as well. And we can do the same with these. If we highlight this, drag this down just a little bit, it's gonna give everything just a little bit more space just so it's easier to read. Now there's a couple more features that I wanna add. And one of the things that I like to do is do some conditional formatting on the day's change. And this is gonna help us quickly see if a company is trading up or down on the day. But go ahead and highlight these cells. And if we come up here and click on formatting, we'll click on conditional formatting. And what we wanna do is we wanna say, if the text in the cell is greater than zero, we want it to show up as green text. 
So you can see how I did that. I said greater than zero and then formatting, I clicked on the green text and you can see here now, anything that is above zero is showing up as green. But if we click add another rule right here, I can say anything that is less than zero, we want to show up as red text. So I'll go ahead and click on done here now. And we can see, we can now easily see based on the color if a stock is trading up or down on the day. Now a couple other things we should do, we wanna highlight anything that is a dollar amount like price, 52 week high, 52 week low and dividend payout and format that to a dollar amount. It's gonna make everything look a little bit nicer. Now something else that I wanna do is we wanna go ahead and bold all of this text. So if we highlight right here and click on bold, everything stands out just a little bit more and becomes a little bit easier to read as well. Maybe I wanna come over here and stretch out the name column just a little bit, maybe the same thing with the sector column. I might do the same with dividend yield as well. Again, we're just trying to make this as easy to read as possible. But now just like that, we pretty much have a completely automated and finished stock watch list in Google Sheets with live stock data. So this is a pretty phenomenal tool. Let's go ahead and test it out again. Maybe instead of ABGO, we wanna look at Texas Instruments. I'll plug in TXN and hit enter. And again, you can see all this data is going to automatically load in. So now our stock watch list is finished, but if you wanna make it even better, I'll show you just a couple more tricks where you can track international stocks, also track other metrics and automate the process even more. So let's go ahead and start with international stock tracking. So for example, maybe there's a stock from Australia that I wanna track. Maybe I want to track a stock from the Australian Securities Exchange. For example, maybe I wanna track bhp.ax. If we go back over to our spreadsheet and plug that in, bhp.ax and hit enter, you can see it's gonna take just a moment to load, but all of the formulas that use Google Finance are showing an error, not available. And again, like I mentioned earlier, that's because Google Finance doesn't allow you to track international stocks, but you can see where we use the ticker data function, the data did automatically load in. We can see they pay out $2.35 in dividends and they operate in the basic material sector. So if we change the Google Finance functions to ticker data functions, let's go ahead and test it out. We'll use ticker data live for the company name, click on the cell, and type out price, close the parentheses and hit enter, and it's gonna take just a second to load in, but once it does, you can see we now have the live price for BHP. And the same thing works for name. Let's go ahead and just put name right here. Type out name and hit enter, and we can see the company name for BHP. It's BHP Group Limited. So again, ticker data allows you to automatically track stocks from all across the world. Now I wanna show you another trick how you can automate this process even more. So for example, you can see we typed in sector right here. What if we deleted this and simply clicked on the cell here that says sector and hit enter? Yes, you can see it's going to automatically load in again, but now we can automate the process by typing out exactly what metric we want to see here. So maybe instead of sector, Maybe we wanna see something like industry. If I type in industry right here and hit enter, you can see this cell is going to automatically update to show the industry simply because I changed what is listed right here. So if we did that for all the other cells, that data would update automatically as well. Let's go ahead and try something else. If I use the ticker data function, let's say I wanna look at a different metric right here. Let's go ahead and see our options on ticker data. If we click on the docs, scroll down, and look at the ticker data attributes. Maybe there's a key metric that I personally wanna pull in. Maybe for example, I wanna know how much revenue the company produced in 2018. Well, all I would need to do is type in revenue right here and hit enter. We'll use the ticker data function since we're looking at historical data. Click on bhp.ax, add a comma, type revenue and add a comma, type out 2018 and hit enter. And it's gonna take just a second to load in, but you can see we now have how much revenue BHP Group Limited produced in 2018. So our original stock watch list tool that we created was obviously a great tool, but with ticker data, the functionalities are so much more. So there you go. There's how you can build a completely automated stock watch list straight in your Google spreadsheet. Like always, if you'd like to be able to download any of my spreadsheet and also get access to the ticker data add-on within Google Sheets, then you can head over to tickerdata.com at the link in the description. If you have any questions, be sure to leave a comment down below. But with all of that being said, thank you guys so much for watching and please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel.